Have you ever felt that you had to do things perfectly? I have. I spent years chasing after absolute precision in my playing. But it turned out that only when I confronted that with the Brazilian freedom and the musicality, I found myself. I would like to tell you a short story about how I understood that there is no one way in anything and how important it is to be open-minded. So, appreciate what you already know and confront that with new inspiration and new ideas. I started to play the cello when I was seven. 17 years later, the hard work and practice eight hours a day paid off. I graduated from Music Academy with first honors and proudly earned my diploma as a master in performance. But I have been living in some kind of bubble. Can you imagine being with someone every single day of your life? This is how I felt, never leaving the cello behind. And then I moved to London and the bubble burst. I realized that being a skilled musician wasn't gonna be enough. There seemed to be always obstacles around every corner. If not the communication because of my language, the lack of space to practice, and the neighbors' complaints about the noise, even the threats to take me to the court, then there always was the lack of money. Many times I would feel my dreams slipping away. So that was a period of almost six years that I haven't made any progress. I almost jeopardized my playing. Imagine the feelings of frustration and guilt. Many musicians encounter those feelings at some point. All of us do. We sacrifice a lot, spending most of our time practicing in solitude. And yet, the emotions that come with playing are so powerful that we cannot imagine our lives in any other way. So I didn't give up. As scary as it was, I finally quit my job in a shop and started to earn my living giving the cello lessons and working on a music project. Then one day I met a group of people who are involved in the traditional Brazilian dance called Forró, as you know already. And I completely fell in love with it. The chemistry, passion for the improvisation and the interesting music which, which comes with it made me understand that it wasn't going to be only my new hobby. I discovered that the Brazilian culture has a lot of things that I was missing. So I bought a ticket to Brazil to find out more about it, to learn more about it. And guess what happened? The first time I pulled out the cello, Dozens of people started to record it and posted it on the social media. I remember listening to this first video and that wasn't good enough. <laughs> I had a brief moment of panic <laughs> and wanted, wanted to ask the people to delete it, but then decided not to, seeing how excited the people in the audience were. So this video got shared 900 times and reached 50,000 views within three days. Since then, I met some of the most amazing musicians in Brazil. I played and recorded with great forho bands, and also many of my current projects started during those days. The pieces that we played for you have been written by amazing artists that I've met in Brazil, and who became very important mentors to me. The forho legend, Osvaldinho do Acordon, the renowned singer and songwriter Chico Cesar, and the uh, innovative French violinist Nicolas Cressic, 
Paul the one day went to Brazil and lost himself into the music there. What I learned from it, be proud of your own ideas and who you are as an artist. Constantly surround yourself with positive people who will keep you driven and don't be afraid to ask them for advice. If one person will, won't be able to help you, ask another two or three. <laughs> be always open-minded and aware of things around you because you never know which one of those things may be your next inspiration or even take your success, your career, <laughs> to the next level in a heartbeat. Thank you.